Hi everyone, this is my 4 channel temperature data logger. Here are 4 temperature sensors. Uh, the temperature values are displayed uh, on the LCD display here. And the values are also with given frequencies saved in a file on a SD card that is located here. So it's easy, reliable, simple and cheap. And let me show you a short demonstration how it works. So here we have all sensors at ambient temperature. I will place one sensor into boiling water, another sensor into cold water, and one sensor I will hold in my hand. On the display you can see the, the measured uh, temperatures. And here you can see a graph showing temperature versus time based on the recorded data. Now let us have a look at how to design this temperature logger. The selection of components is driven by several fundamental requirements. First, I would like to measure the temperature at four locations with accuracy half degree and with desired data acquisition at least every three seconds. Uh, a reasonable compromise that allows me this are those four DS18B20 small waterproof uh, one wire digital temperature sensors. Next requirement is to use throughout the whole project only widely accessible, cheap and simple components. For this reason, I selected as the brain of my device this Arduino Uno microcontroller. Next, I would like to have uh, the possibility to write measured temperatures into a file uh, on an SD card, including acquisition time. To satisfy this requirement, I use micro SD card and DS3231 real time clock module which can maintain information about absolute time. Next, I would like to have uh, some easy way of activating and deactivating data writing on my SD card. For this, I use so-called uh, toggle switch. And in addition, it makes this uh, very lovely sound. Last fundamental requirement driving my design is that I would like to visualize measured temperatures in real time including absolute time and indication about data recording status. For this purpose, I use two simple LCD displays with an I2C interface. Those are the main used components. Now, let us rearrange the parts and add also additional four uh, pull-up 4.7 kilo ohm resistors for uh, temperature sensors and one a 10 kilo ohm pull-up resistor for the toggle switch. I propose also to use a breadboard to build our setup. We will also need a relatively large quantity of wires. Here we can see a wiring diagram of the setup. Now I would like to mention several things. There is an I2C bus, so it's an interface for LCD displays and the real-time clock module. There is also a SPI interface essentially for micro ESD card module. In addition, there is an interface for devices connected to Arduino digital pins, so such as temperature sensors and toggle switch. So I strongly recommend uh, building such a setup uh, first on a breadboard and to test each component one by one uh, yeah, individually. Next, to make a bit more robust setup, I decided to use an Arduino Uno screw shield I basically, basically encapsulate all the wiring connections with Arduino, so things included in the orange rectangle, uh, including all the pull-up resistors for the sensors. My devices will be then connected uh, only via screw terminals. Uh, so this is the schematics of how I implement the connections on the screw shield itself, and this is how it looks in reality. And here we also have all the wiring from individual parts to the screw shield. With this, we are in fact done with electronic setup. And again, I strongly suggest testing all components one by one with this setup. The software development is a relatively time consuming activity. In this video, I will only outline the main concept of the Arduino code for this temperature data logger. For a more detailed description, I would refer to the commented version of this code. You can download the file from a link indicated in the video description. So what is the operational concept? First, the Arduino microcontroller of the temperature data logger is powered. Uh, there are many commands executed only once, such as a definition of variables, starting communication with devices, 
initialization of our components and uh, setting time. Next, we print on the display current time. Uh, we read the status of the toggle switch. Uh, next step is to read temperatures from all four sensors. And in the next step, we print those values uh, on the display. Next, uh, we read time and update it on the display. If the toggle switch uh, is in the right position, then temperatures and time are written into a file on a SD microcard. And this loop is continuously repeated. The name of the file contains absolute time at the beginning of the file creation. So I hope this tutorial was useful. And if you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Take care and bye bye.